It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, well, it was shaping up to be a good week for Joe Biden. He got Brittany Griner back. Uh, he kept marriage gay, and he's only got he's only got 14 more sleeps until Santa. <laughs> but then, just when he thought he had it all under control, Kirsten Cinema said, "Hold my wig." Arizona Senator Kirsten Cinema, seen here, realizing that someone is actually waving to the person behind her. <laughs> Announced that she is leaving the Democratic Party and is registering as an independent. Explained Cinema, pay attention to me. <laughs> WNBA star Brittany Griner was freed from prison in exchange for Russian arms dealer Victor Boot. It's actually a great trade because Boot was only averaging five points and two rebounds a game. <laughs> Raphael Warnock defeated Herschel Walker in Georgia's Senate runoff race. You know, but I don't think this is the last you'll hear from Herschel Walker. I mean, unless he's your biological father. <laughs> With Raphael Warnock's win, Democrats in the Senate will no longer have to rely on Vice President Harris for tie-breaking votes. Harris can now focus on her main priority, waiting for a worse bike accident. <laughs> <laughs> The Supreme Court heard a case this week over whether a conservative evangelical woman can refuse to design a website for a same-sex marriage. But, honey, I don't know any gay couple who's going to hire a designer with those highlights. <laughs> uh, honey? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I apologize. <laughs> During, during oral arguments in the case, Justice Samuel Alito raised the hypothetical, could a black department store Santa be forced to take a picture with a child dressed in a Klan robe? Alito added that he'd love an answer before he takes his grandkids to the mall next week. Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. I don't know if you guys saw today, Morocco beat Portugal in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. It is, uh, yeah, it's the best World Cup performance by a team of Africans since the unpaid workers who built the stadiums. I didn't do it. Portugal's head coach decided not to start soccer legend Cristiano Ronaldo in today's loss. Even more insulting, at halftime, he tried to trade Ronaldo for Brittany Griner. <laughs> but the biggest upset so far in the World Cup was that favorite Brazil was eliminated, except for a tiny strip down the middle. <laughs> Nike has officially... <laughs> Nike has officially cut ties with Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving over his anti-Semitism scandal. Kyrie says he's so depressed he might jump off the edge of the world. <laughs> today, today was the SantaCon bar crawl in New York City. Yeah, the uh, annual reminder that while Santa may exist, God doesn't. 